Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Lunar Silver Star Story for the PlayStation 1. My name is the Father Spire, this is your Biscuit Jail. Today, we unlock chest, and we also head for the Red Dragon. Let's get started, shall we? I hope you all having a wonderful, fantastic day. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these chests and I'm just gonna put cuts in between each one. So the first chest has a garbage can lid? That seems useless. That legit seems useless. It is legitly useless. Why is this in the treasure box? Like, this is something you have to go back for. And it's completely useless. I mean, I'm not expecting Ramus to have anything, like, awesome and, you know, locked away in his house, but... Give me something that, actually, I can use at this point in the game, please? Ah, <sighs> maybe the next one will have better success. Chest number two in safe. Uh, protection ring. Now, that might not be great, but at least it's not useless. So, like these items go to, um, Alex. Increased defense. Now, I do have some characters that I don't think have rings yet. But doesn't have all rings yet. Like, she doesn't have another ring. How much does that increase defense by? Whew. Like, I want to give it to him. But I want to give him the attack ring. So... I, I, I think this is a ring that you give to Mia instead. Yeah. Okay, oh, uh, that was chest number two. Okay, next up, the, uh, the sea, the, uh, the witch is a sea map witch thief piece of garbage who stole my cane. Ah, uh, her house. So since she sold my can, I'm gonna steal something of hers. It's gonna be a silver light. I assume that's the enhanced version of a blue light? Or a starlight? Oh, right, it always goes to him. Um, yes, restores MP completely. Wow. Hello? Endgame. Because <laughs> that's what I'm gonna hold that on to. I'm gonna hold that on to the very, very end. I'm gonna hold on to the very very end and then I'm not gonna use it on the final boss because I think there's another boss after him and that's just gonna sit in my inventory the entire game isn't it I just know it is I just know that's gonna happen okay I believe uh, Murphy is our next stop and Murphy we have a house here and we got oh uh, just a thousand silver okay not much to say about that one just free money and you know what I, I don't mind free money so I want to show this off because this is shocking. Um, I went here and Kyle said, it looks like Master Mel needs some dusting. And the response? Kyle, you ignorant slut. What about poor Jessica? Hey, I realize what Jessica is going through, okay? She talks about the old fire every chance she gets. I know how much she loves him. I'll help you get back to normal, old man. And he'll be able to yell at me every chance you get, just like before. Jessica's heart will be broken if I don't. Yeah, I, it's just shocking that the cat would call Kyle that. Like, what? I'm gonna save Dad. I just need to stay out of my way, Kyle. What are you saying, Jess? You need me, Jess? You're not strong enough to do this by yourself. What? How dare you insult me like that in my own house? This is it! Fine. I'll see how far you get without my help, brat. Fine, I will. <laughs> Fine, great. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> The, the like a uh, married old couple already fine fine <laughs> ah good stuff uh there's uh i believe there was a treasure chest behind the um uh the secret sewer entrance so that's where we're headed next past uh the sewers here uh this is the mel's uh entrance to the sewer not the other entrance and we got another silver light. 
which again, I hope I actually use in the playthrough and don't just let it accumulate dust forever. <laughs> And the Crave of Trial Land. It's very interesting. If you come here with uh, with this party, uh, and you talk to the people here, they're all like, "Oh my God, it's Mia! Oh, you, you just made my day! I, I can't I can't believe you're here! Uh, please stay with me forever, or please have me!" It, it's it's like everyone here uh, is hitting on Mia, and she's like, "Um," and Ash is like, "Excuse me." <laughs> Nothing major, of course, just minor dialogue. But I want to point out that, hey, you know, the game recognizes uh, the characters that you have in your party when you talk to someone. And I think that's really, really cool. But anyway, the, the chest is why I'm here. Oh, we got soap. I mean, that's a good thing, right? I mean, getting more soap allows us to use the sauna without having to save scum as much. Plus, there might be instances where we don't know that the sauna is available and and I may accidentally use the soap without without knowing I'm using the soap. Uh, so yeah, uh, having more soap is not a bad thing. All right, well, let's get the heck out of here. The nods are past, just south. Really, really easy to find. I remember this place. Got it silver lights, excellent. Once again, gotta make sure I am not going to hoard these because I have three of them now. <laughs> Where's Waldo? Or in this case, Alex. <laughs> He's out of behind the house. Uh, we're in long? And we got another silver light. That's not four. Wow. I mean, I know these things aren't common. And they're not probably going to be common. But the fact that we have four of them is really, really nice. Let's check the, uh, the, the, the book guy. While we're here. Oh, Jessica, well, I got the hole in the bottom of the boat fixed and now I lost my oars. I got to ask, are you like tired from running through my dreams all night long? Jeez. Okay, uh, let's see. Our next stop is, uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll go there. In the town of Marriott, we got another silver light. Cool. Uh, like I said, we're just, uh, we're just stocking up on these things, but probably don't want to use them anytime soon. I I'm pretty sure we can get by with just normal lights at the moment because. Uh, I do want to make sure I use them, but I don't think we need to use them absolutely right now. I almost completely forgot about this one. Because this one's hiding so well. Got a devil pendant. What does that do? Increases magic resistance. Hmm. There's a lot of magic resistance. And the thing is, I just got him the increased attack power ring. Yeah, I know it was expensive, but you said I said I was gonna buy one. The question is, where do I put that ring? I could take off a uh, Nash's treasure and give him extra magic resist. He doesn't really need it. Though. I could take off his luck, and I kind of hate to do that, but I feel that I, I feel that the um. The magic resist is more important on Kyle because he's really weak in that category. Yeah, I mean, he's at 37 magic resist. That's really low. So I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So on my way through Marriott Woods, a uh, couple level ups. I believe Kyle got a plus one range up, which is important. And we also have a new spell for Mia. She learned uh, throw fireball, flame bomb. Uh, I've not seen this yet, but it's a one enemy. Did you? I just noticed these are one enemy. These are enemy zone. That's all, and that's a buff. Her, her spells have like a pattern to them. These kind of don't. These kind of do too. Huh? Anyway, fortune ring. What does that do? Increased luck. Okay, this is another increased luck ring. I don't think we need this because we just got rid of our last one. I mean, yes, I, I think the increased luck stat is very good for getting crits, but at the same time, uh, we just have what I think is better. Okay, uh, let's head out here and then um, I believe we're heading back to Reza. I almost forgot about this one. This is in the weird woods, all the way in the northeast corner, right where uh, we got 
we, we met Lake for the first time. And it's a Wrath Ring. It seems familiar. Oh no! <laughs> I just bought one of these for like a ton of money. I did, I just bought one of these. Oh. And I don't really want to give up any of these items because Red conditions is good and recover HP is good. Oh, that is. That is unfortunate. I could always give up Nash's treasure and give him. You know, that may not be a bad idea. Give up the bromide, which is cool, but it's not very powerful. Uh, give him the prevent conditions. And then. And then equip the uh, fresh ring. And then equip the attack power ring. Yeah, I mean, that's not ideal. But it's definitely decent. And he has two uh, uh, recovery items. So, yeah, I I'm okay with that. Okay, our last chest on the list. Razor. And it's a silver light. I do not mind that at all. That's pretty decent. So overall, we got a ton of silver lights. We got some new rings. And, uh, a soap. Yeah, a soap. Oh, and also a useless trash can, which doesn't help at all. <laughs> Definitely doesn't help at all. So what I need to do now, now that I know that we aren't gonna find any other items in our orange chest there, is to head back here and buy up all the good stuff. So, what just happened? I thought I was, I'm sorry. Take this to look and talk to Vent over there. I think he'll be able to help you. Could you be any less specific? There has to be more than one. I can him back is far more important than me any mountain treasure. Plus, if I get her help back, I'll score major points with the head of the guild. I I'm so sorry, my friends. I thought I was uh, just clicking through dialogue to get to a shop. When you need my help, Kyle, I'll give it to you without my question. Now it's time for you to help me and Lily. I'm looking at shoppers. Can it look some magic? Yeah, that's what I thought I was doing. I thought I was opening up um, vendors. But no. I can't believe Mass Pelf has a magic upper with soup solo as a kidnap a child. Oh, poor Lily. This is trying to look so tough, but they're just soft as that hot. Well, these are that way, Jesus. <laughs> so it looks like as soon as Lily got kidnapped, everyone's like, oh my god, we gotta help these people. Uh, okay, uh, cool. No, I don't want to do the armor first. I want to do the weapons first. Uh, but I only have a second to spend the cash for the leader of the guild got me killed. I've never sold children before, but, you know, I have been looking to expand my business scope. Let me ask you, would you guys buy a visibly priced runaway distressed child? Oh my god, what the heck is wrong with you, you sleazebag? I was like, that should be drawn and quartered. Okay, here's what I wanted. The, uh, the weapon shop. I mean, we're heading to a red dragon area, so having ice weapons could probably be really good. So definitely want one of those. Definitely want one of those. Kyle doesn't have any weapons. Okay, I probably want to buy two ice canes. Rather than the uh, stone bow. Because I think having the, uh, the, the canes are probably going to be better. Because I've been using canes non-stop. Okay, that's equipped, that's equipped, that's equipped. Just wanted to double check before I sold everything. Got to sell the shiny sword. Fire canes. And a mace. Okay, now I could go and spend money on armor. And... I said I was not going to use this because I didn't want to have my magic defense tanked. Uh, spot like a garment, that's good for both of you. A shield is not good. Armband is, so let's go ahead and sell off our old magic guild attires. Kind of sticks when you have limited space, but totally worth it. In the end. Okay. 
So that's good. And that's good. Okay, I bought everything I could. Yeah, I bought everything I could. And I also had this item. The airships for dummies balloon blueprint. Okay, cool. Are we gonna make an airship? Because that'd be pretty neat. Uh, let's go ahead and buy some healing nuts. Let's buy some more starlights. And let's go ahead and sell some herbs. Do I want to sell these? I mean, I could. But I don't think I want to. I got the feeling I should probably hang on to that. Eh. We'll just hang on to this stuff. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, we had 10,000 gold. We're still good. Gaming back is one more point. Okay, now we need to head to... Oh, look. Uh, I could have swore... We're supposed to follow someone else, though. So I was clicking through. I thought I was supposed to go this way. Hmm. I already booked into Dame Spire, nice work. Have you ever considered Cyber Park tour duty? We get to travel the world, make lots of friends about them blind. We never steal from our friends, and we're not thieves. I was, it was interesting to get a vacation, but I'm getting reassigned to the city zone instead. If I know this was going to happen, I wouldn't have worked so dang hard. The vile tribe has been kidnapping the best singers of the world. Our own lily was the latest victim. But what's trying the magic emperor to kidnap singers? What importance do I have to him? Uh, I thought that's what you were supposed to tell us. My guess is that the singers are a key to opening a gateway. Maybe to the uh, the eternal blue? That's my guess. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and use this. And we'll head to look. Just like that, we're here. This is a town of Illuk. The people of North live in, uh, yeah. Uh, I know you. Anything new here? Uh, white is alright. Already have. Already have. Don't worry about my brother. He pulls himself and his creatures up all the time. I guarantee you would have destroyed that dime machine if he had touched the switch, trust me. I, I still felt kind of bad. Uh, maybe we give him the blueprints? I was almost finished, that's why I said I touched the switch, Arg. I'm sorry. Um. Maybe that had to be on Alex? No? Okay, this is not the guy we're supposed to talk to. Guy down here? Oh, the frustration. Just when I finally saw the pomegranate size and kind of caught a pomegranate taste. No, it's not this guy. This guy the, is the, the weird one. I mean, they're all kind of weird, I guess. But, you know, weird in a good way. Ah, here we go. What's this? My blueprints. Wow, I was about to give up. I never seen them again. Ah, uh, they were sold for me by the thieves called the Razor, but we got them back. Thank you very much, but why would the thieves be interested in the blueprints for a balloon? Oh, well, I'll never be able to understand the criminal mind. Gave the blueprint. My name is Shira. I'm an inventor. I recently moved in here so I can focus on my work. I wish I had something to give you as thanks, but we inventors tend to live hand to mouth. I'm sorry. Uh, well, we need to get over the mountain so we can find the Red Dragon Cave. I see. Well, now that I have my blueprints back, I can build your blueprint uh, balloon to fly you to the cave. But to make it fly, I need a fluffy bug, and the one I had is skipped in the no field north of here. No problem. What well, catch the bug while you build the balloon? Wonderful. I'll get started on right away. Don't forget to ask the botanist for permission to enter the field. 
Huh. Let's see, I need to sew together sheets of canvas to make the balloon. Oh, I need a basket for the passengers. He's already hard at work. Indeed. Very, very awesome. Okay, I'm back. It doesn't look like I left. Power of editing. But I had to take like a half hour break. And during that time, when I took like a 30, 40 minute break, guess what I didn't do? I didn't save. Which means now my save time is gonna be not correct. But I mean, my save times are usually never correct when I play because there's always times when I need to take a break or something in the middle of a gameplay. But still, uh, that 16 hours is more like, yeah, I mean, here we were in lawn and this was like five minutes. Actually, wow, it took a lot longer than a half hour break, huh? You're looking for a botanist? So you mean my husband, look for him in the laboratory downstairs. Oh, this guy, I remember this guy. Oh, you want to catch fluffy bugs? It's fine with me, children. I like to encourage interest in horticulture. But well, you should be aware that we have poor, poor bugs out there too. But in even night, I can't tell them apart. Great. So, uh, what are we going to do to tell them apart, Alex? Let's go into the field and explore first. We'll solve the identity crisis later. I'll open the entrance for you, and you can go into the field anytime. Just make sure to close the gate behind you. You don't want any bugs getting out of there. Oh, I hate bugs. Please let them not be cockroaches. I actually can't close the door, so don't blame me. The game does not let me close doors. Oh, we have a dungeon in here. I was not expecting that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to change the tactics. Ooh. Okay, well. Because we have ice canes now instead of fire canes, which I imagine do ice damage now instead of fire damage. Exactly. It might be better to have fire weapons equipped for this area, but I can only imagine that the fire weapons are much worse than the, uh, the ice weapons. So, I mean, maybe they do some extra damage. Maybe they don't. Alright, either way, I don't think I have them. I think I sold them. So, oh well. Still getting some really good experience. Let me go in and change my tactics really quick. Because that needs to be done. Um, fire King to Ice King. Fire King to Ice King. There we go. I like the music here. It's very festival. What the heck is this? Finding a giant marshmallow. Finding a bunch of giant marshmallows. Oh, it's the puffy and fluffy bugs. All right. Um, I can only have three. So let me just attack as normal. Uh, you can probably use a thunder bomb. Uh, you could probably do a fire pillar. You can attack that one. You can attack that one. And it's gone. Great. Not only is it gone, but these guys are incredibly fast, which totally messes up all the magic I just cast. Yep. Totally is going to mess up my magic attacks. Well, one of them is asleep anyway, so I guess it doesn't hurt that. Unfortunately, we didn't get that other guy, though. He ran away. So I guess at this point, we could just uh, switch ahead to... To do this. Didn't kill. That's unfortunate. Because we should have been able to take two of them down. Oh my god, 70 damage. What the heck? Why are they doing so much damage all of a sudden? Why is their agility so weird? Like, sometimes they move first, sometimes they don't move first. It's really bizarre. 
I mean, I assume the red ones are like the uh, the little cute things that we fought in the uh, the trial cave. Probably give you a ton of EXP and gold or whatever. But if that's true, we're not going to be able to really take them out unless we get lucky. Um, that was very, very damaging. Now what I could do is... I could always use, um, healing items. It says spells. But I don't think there's going to be a boss in here. So if there's no boss, that should be okay. That is a lot of bees. And that is a lot of special attacks. That's kind of not cool, game. Um, how many of these guys can I take out? Just two. Okay, so do that. Is that gonna be enough to kill him? I think so. Jessica with a fast and movement. Oh my god, this guy, oh my god! This game needs to chill out with the amount of damage it does. Like, it just does so much damage. It's really hard to... I mean, I have the best defense I can buy. And yet, they basically almost two-shot me. Well, they do two-shot me. They almost one-shot me. That's what I mean to say. Um, use healing nuts. And then let us... I'm gonna have to buy a lot more healing nuts, so for all seriousness, because if the enemies do this much damage, you kind of need to. Well, that was fun. Cowabunga, dude. More flies. Um. Can we see what we can take out with this? Guys are so fast too. Not fast in agility, I mean, just just they move super fast. It's kind of cool to watch. Except that sucks. That attack is just crazy. Excellent. Jessica got that first strike in, which is really good. 500 experience. Those guys are worth a lot, but they hit really hard. Especially when they all do their specials at once. Uh, let's... Uh... Music is wild. It almost like suits the place, you know what I mean? That is a lot of plants. That is a lot of plants. Pump is her fire pillar is really, really slow. So it's probably gonna hit last. Check this out. Try to do the best I can here. Oh, she's faster than plants. Good, good, good. First time I see this spell too. Oh, we see this spell before. Yeah, it's it's the other one that I haven't seen the uh, single attack one. Dang, these guys hurt. I mean, look at that damage. Jeez. Okay, uh, we should be able to take him out though on this round. Kind of reminds me of a saga game, except saga games, uh, they, they heal you at the end of the fight. <laughs> so it doesn't matter how close you get to death each round, as long as you win. In this game, we don't get healed at the end of each fight unless we heal ourselves.
Oh, it's a puff ball. Let's hope this one doesn't run away. Oh, they can't really control that, you know? I could try a flash cut here. Watch this offend. I don't think you'll be able to do anything. Dang it! So annoying! Stop running away! Check this out. Nah, it really didn't do anything at all. So slow. I mean, not Kyle, Alex. Still didn't kill all of them either. Jeez. Yeah, let's have you defend. Check this out. I should have used Blizzard on her last turn. All right, we got through. Oh, he's in the level. Anything stand out? Like two attacks stand out. Kyle getting the level. Fragility. I, it's kind of weird how this game works because this game gave you a lot of abilities early on. And then... I mean, once you have all your abilities, it's not like you get more. Although Jessica has only four abilities. He only has four. She has six, he has seven. Looks like there could be two more to the right there. But still. What's the bracelet? Good for Nash and can't tell if he's standing. No, she's not standing. So that's good for Nash. Maybe. Uh, not Cubic Zirconia. <laughs> uh, that is good for Nash. It's plus two defense, which is fantastic. It'd be really nice if I could click correctly. Did I heal? I did heal. That is a lot of puff balls. Okay, I I'm gonna go ahead and Fierce Lightning here. And uh, also Radiant Blizzard. Because these guys are probably gonna move. Check this out. <laughs> Looks like that level up with the agility helped. Because we're suddenly moving faster. Me, of course, never moves faster, but that's good. This is great. This is excellent. We're not going to get hit here. Yeah, this is absolutely amazing. We are not going to take a hit. Oh yeah. A lot of silver. It's good to have money. It's nice in an RPG when you have so much money that you know, you stop caring about money. Uh, and, and it's also sad when that happens because you feel like you have all this money but you can't do anything with it. But at the same time, it's it's nice when you can uh, not have to worry about it anymore. Um, I'm gonna have you guys nuke. Check this out. Nash is a little bit faster than the flies. Fortunately, can't kill him though. But does do enough damage so Jessica can finish him off. Come on, please hit the one left. Please hit the one left. Please. Hit oh, come on, Alex. Oh, Alex. Here with the one on the left, I wouldn't have hit. I mean, the other guy would have hit us, but it wouldn't have done that much damage. I just got a level two attack is nice. One wisdom is nice. Come on, spells. Oh, we did learn a spell. Saint Litany. 
What does that do? Does that is that a status healer? I am guessing. Uh oh, it's a regen. It's an AOE regen. Ho ho! That could be really good in boss fights. The question is, how long does it last? And does it heal like the ring does? And do they stack? Probably don't. How much is that? It's only 12. It's a really good preemptive heal. Now then again, it's not going to stop a major assault from draining all your HP. But it's still not bad. It's, it's not bad. That has a lot of plants. Um... I want a fierce lightning, probably. Check this out. I'm running out of mana fast. But I don't have money. And there's no reason why I can't buy a couple of silver lights. Oh, are we gonna get through this without getting hit? Oh, let's go! And as you can tell by the way I said let's go, you... My voice still hasn't fully recovered. Like, my, not, not so much my voice, my throat hasn't fully recovered. Um, I, I'm still struggling. It's like stupid allergies just won't leave me alone. Uh, on this fight, I don't want to do this. Do I want to do flash cut? I mean, I have room for two more flash cuts, so we might as well. I wonder if it, like, keeps running away until we get to the very end. And then once we get to the very end, uh, it stays in fights. Uh, nah, two. That's not bad. Two agility, two wisdom. That's not bad. Uh, I'll take that. There's some big plants in here. Um. So the more I hit with her, the more MP I lose with her. And the more money I'm gonna have to pay. Question is, is it cheaper to buy a starlight or is it cheaper to buy uh, healing nuts? Uh, healing nuts are by far easier to buy, but I still know if they're as useful. I, I like I like to cast healing spells, not use them. <laughs> I probably will have to heal Kyle. Because unfortunately, um. Because unfortunately, that's kind of what happens. With, um, enemies that can hit really, really hard. You never want to make sure your HP level drops below a certain point. Yeah, I bet you anything what happens is, like I said, the very last one they had to fight will stay in fight. So, trying to kill this guy? Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't work. I, I think I just go all out, either way. Because, why not? Can I move first? Hmm. Check this out. That Thunder Bomb was very nice. A lot of times when they move, I only get like one enemy, so that worked pretty well.
This marshmallow guys is so cool. I wish I hadn't used flash cut here. There was no reason for me to use that. I, we were, we were well in position to win this fight. I'm, I'm gonna have to uh, use those starlights. Hey! Oh no, I got away! Ah, don't worry now. I know how to handle feisty little things. Come here, critter. Ah, oh, we got it cornered. And we got, oh, look how cute it is. It's so cute. By the way, Kyle, what was that remark about knowing how to handle feisty things? Hehehe, <laughs> <laughs> Jess, I don't know what that word means. Uh huh. Remind me to find you too. Next time you try to make the moves on me. Not that I'm made to be feisty or anything. Yeah, uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> All right, well, we got the item we needed. The only problem is there's still a lot to explore here. And there's no way I'm going to be able to successfully explore unless I get a little bit of recovery. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, Starlight on Nash. I'm not gonna use it on Alex. I think I can get by without using a uh, flash cut. Uh, Thunder Thrust though is very helpful here. And Alex is asleep. It's kind of a good thing that I used AoE spells here. Because if I didn't and he's asleep, that's gonna really, really suck. I mean, I wake up now, but I don't think it's gonna help. dead people on the floor. Should be okay though. Help, no! You're the best, no. Really not obtained. Oh, Nash getting a level. Four, four, one, one, two, two. Still would like to see more magic points. But that's a pretty decent level right there. I don't think I want to... Oh, that, that guy almost screamed right into me before I had a chance to restore myself. I think I'm going to use uh, healing nuts here. Save a little bit of MP. And then fight this bee. There's a lot of bees and some of them are spinning. Just wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Can't hit all of them unless I use my big attack. Check this out. Kind of want to use the big attack because if I do, that means I'm probably have to use another starlight to recover. But thankfully, they are faster than these bees. I did not need to use Blizzard. Um, just a the single target fire spell or ice spell would have killed it. But eh, well. 635 EXP. Jeez. These guys are cooking. That is a lot of plants. That is a very lot of plants. I think I have initiative here though. Check this out. Like I'm pretty sure I move before they do. By the power 
I don't know if that's gonna hit all three. I mean, it should, right? Yeah. Oh, I only got one, though. Darn it! The way these guys creep forward is very creepy. Reminds me of uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop! Little Shop of Horrors! Little Shop! A treat. What was really interesting about that movie, if you don't know, um, probably the coolest thing about that movie, uh, they, they actually had two endings for it. And, uh, they made the ending a happy ending on the movie release. But the other ending is just so much better. It, it's, it's so good. If you've never seen the, um, the original alternate ending, I guess you could call it, uh, for Little Shop Horrors, you need to go watch it. It's amazing. What the heck is that? It looks like... Looks like a key. Spook hairpin. It does look like a key, doesn't it? I mean, I. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at the little guy. So soft and cuddly. He's so soft and cuddly. Uh, let's see. Plus defense and plus two wisdom. Yes, please. I will gladly take that every single day of the week. These guys are really, really tough to kill. Especially when they're so far away. You know... I don't really use your abilities yet. I don't want you to move forward because you don't have enough movement space to get over there. Check this out. And you just put yourself in danger. Oh, I used Raging Weasel on the wrong enemy. Dang it, I just messed that one up. So if I would have had Alex attack the one on the bottom, then the one on the bottom would have been killed and all three of those would have been killed and there would have only been one left. So I kind of goofed there. Thankfully, it's not going to really cost me. Just uh, one hit. And we should be able to take these guys out before they can hit us again. That was great because now Alex can move over. Perfect. Uh, let's see. I think up here. I don't think I need to fight the, uh, the footballs anymore. I mean, there's always a chance I could possibly get the pink one, but I don't think I can fight the pink one. And... Uh, I'm trying to conserve myself, so I don't have to use up a lot of items. So maybe it's a good idea not to do that. Fly Devils. That's a lot. Um. I don't know if Kyle is fast enough. But if he is, great. If he's not fast enough, then I wish I would have my AoE uh, circle move. Good, he is fast enough. Take that guy out. Perfect, just far enough and a crit, but unfortunately not enough to kill it. Oh well. She tried. Just go, you try. That's what matters. I appreciate you. Let's, um, heal. I think Jess needs it right now. Kind of wish I could have avoided this fight. Really wish I could have avoided this fight.
Ah! Attacked the wrong enemy. I was trying to click through. I totally messed up. I don't think it really matters. Because she's not going to knock him sideways. She's just going to knock him back. Okay, even though I want to avoid this fight. I was about to say that was a really good fight. But I didn't kill them all. But we got Mia with the blizzard. I didn't even know I cast the blizzard. She has a ton of MP, so why the heck not? Paid off in the end? Just trying to find any more chests, any more secrets. That guy charged me, and I don't know why. Normally they don't do that. have you do that come on Kyle yes we may just get those other two because they moved into the line of fire oh sweet how sweet that is Please don't work, please don't work, please don't work. Good, good, good. That's fine, he, he did what he needed to do. That's fine. I just need to wait for Mia to blast all these things. And she might be powerful enough to... Yeah, I think I think she is gonna be strong enough to kill them all. Because of uh, Kyle's heat riser. Beautiful. What a perfect fight. We are running low on resources though. And there's a bee charging me. Yeah, we are running really low on resources. Hate to use a starlight right now. But I kinda have to. Okay, uh, you need to take care of the one that's spinning. All right, you need to nuke uh, four of them. You need to throw a fireball at the one in the back. You hit the one, that one, and you hit that one. Check this out. That might full clear this. It might. Guys, you're supposed to be faster. Okay, good. Unfortunately, Kyle can't get to that one. Oh, he can! Alright, sweet! By the power of Athena. Oh, that was cool! That did a lot of damage, too. Like, a lot of damage. Fantastic. It's gonna have a really powerful single target damaging spell. I, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to. Too many people got hurt that round. Oh, there's enemies everywhere in this place. Like, come on, give me a break. Check this out. Come on, be faster. Be faster. Be faster. I don't mean that as a pun. <laughs> well, the tank leads up flies, not bees. Don't see anything over here. Okay, there's something here I could boss. Oh, 
but I've already been here before. I guess why I started with the triple jump. Now what I could do, which is not my idea, I could leave, rest, go to the right side, and just check out the right side real quick. Because... I know I don't need to go to the left. So if there's any repeat battles, at least I know I can avoid most of them. I just need to check this right side, because I didn't get a chance to fully explore it. Okay, you go after that one. You get that one. Doesn't really matter what you do. Check this out. Dang it, not fast enough. Agility is a weird thing in this game. <laughs> Although not as weird as Final Fantasy IV. Alex in the low? Yeah, not bad. Kyle gained a level 6 HP, only 1 MP though. Really want more MP. Like FF4, Final Fantasy 4 had this really weird agility mechanic. Uh, if uh, you ever want to know more about it, just watch uh, someone do a randomizer of Final Fantasy 4. And they usually explain it like every single time because agility fixing is just really strange. Okay, we have a chest back here. Something we haven't found yet. Uh, let's see. I could do this. Like, mana isn't really an issue at this point. It really is not. Check this out. So even though I probably don't need all that, all those spells, I, I feel very confident that it's quite all right. Summon elemental power. Yeah, quite all right. Like I said, it's, it's not a big deal uh, if we waste man at this point. Oh, number of attacks increased for Jessica. Oh, let's go. That is a huge, huge boon. Because she's sort of like a uh, a white mage that can hit things. Oh, that's going to be a tough choice right there. Because that should go on Kyle or Jessica. But both of them have good rings. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give up the... I'm, I'm gonna keep the fire because we're probably going into a red dragon's lair, which probably is a lot of fire stuff. I'm gonna go with the one and win one for now. And I'm gonna give her that. I mean, realistically, I, I'd much rather have on uh on Kyle. It's just, I'm out of ring slots. And that sucks to be out of ring slots. Okay, I said that I'm okay with mana, so I might as well just, just use my mana. I don't need you to do that though. Check this out. I mean, the, the, the problem with this though is they could put, um, they could put Alex to sleep in which case, you know, that'd be bad. But he went first. Good. I need to finish up this dungeon so I could uh break for the night. Now that I want to stop playing Lunar, it's just just getting a little bit tired. Okay, I can't go anywhere here. Can't go anywhere here. So I think we are. 
I think we're basically done with this place. A lot of good items though, which makes me want to make sure I double check everything because there's a lot of good items here. Check this out. I don't think I need Mia's help on this one because Jessica got her second attack. But at the same time, doesn't hurt. Me again, a level three and seven. Uh, wisdom two. That's a great level for her. Like that is a wonderful level. I just wish she had more agility. Yeah, and that's over to the left. So, yeah, so we've, uh, I think we can feel confident that we've explored that entire place. Got a lot of good stuff. Got a ton of chests from the orange. Um, I got a ton of items from the orange chests. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop here, and in the next episode, we'll, uh, give the guy the, the, the cute, adorable thing. We'll hopefully build an airship. And we will go meet the Red Dragon. I don't know if we'll be able to do all that in one episode, but we're going to slowly try. Love you all so very much, my friends. You have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter. And you are brilliant. And you are loved. And you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.